So what room so, is this? Well, we call this the Connecticut room. This is the Connecticut this, room. Where we, this is a sort of ex long extended living room yes. where we were standing before, which was the original sort of 1820s part of the house. We call that the Massachusetts room because it's sort of more uptight, uptight, and uncomfortable furniture and sort of Puritan. And this but is here's more Connecticut. Fair, this is like Fair, Fairfield, Fairfield County, County in this sort room. of well-to-do so, Connecticut. So that's how we say. If you can't say I'm in the living room because where would you be in that part or in this part? And I can't use the word parlor; it's too silly. It's no. what I'm yeah. So anyway. The couch was, was inspired by Napoleon's birthplace in Ayakio, which is in Corsica. We went there a number of years ago, yeah. and we, we saw this kind of green velvet with this yellow piping. And so when we got home, the couch needed to be recovered. So we copied Napoleon's boyhood home. And it turns out he wasn't a poor peasant. No. He was very well-to-do. The family were very big in this town in Corsica. I'm Sidney Lawrence. And I'm Tom Birch, and this is our house in Georgetown. Georgetown. And this is Skippy, the dog. Can we put like, the dog down? We so like the dog. Oh, okay. He'll bark otherwise. Oh, okay. So let's show you around a little bit, shall we? Come on, Tom. What is your mantra when it comes to decorating? We don't decorate. That is our mantra. Yeah, we don't decorate, and we, we don't. We're decorate. not mat. We don't care about matchy, match. But things have to be harmonious. Yeah, the harmonious. So, I mean, there's not, I mean, you know, there are some colors here, which is basically green and blue and red when you get right down yeah, to right. it. But we've never hired anyone to um, tell us what to do. What do you love the most about this house? I like the fact that it's old. Yeah, that too. And I like that, and somebody once said, there's not a lot of space, but there are a lot of spaces so that um, two, uh, thriving adults can get away from each other and have independent this independence and it's okay even though it's not really a big house but it's a big it's a big house in other ways it's just psychologically it's a big house it's really key we can lose each other in this house Which only skippy great. knows where we only are. skippy knows for sure i like something that has a little character to it the rug we're standing on we bought at the bazaar in istanbul uh, when we travel as we pick things up this table that's right um next to us it's sort of not only littered with books, but there's a, a kind of a toy horse from Rajasthan. Um, this uh, uh, African headdress, actually, Sydney got it at a Paris, flea market in Paris. Flea market. And this figure of St. John the Baptist. Um, Bogota. You got that in Bogota. I was on a museum trip getting a work of art back from Melbourne to Washington, D.C., which is great, and stopped off in Hong Kong, and there he is, Chairman Mao. I thought, this is better than a Warhol. We each brought a dial tone into the relationship in 1983. There were still more of them around. Then. So it's fine. Now try, try, try um, calling somebody, Tom. Try I'll call my cell phone. Yeah. It's going to take 10 minutes. You know what? It does. All it does is just stays on dial. Stays on that, I think. I think. I yeah. think that the phone company. So the phone deactivated. company no longer accepts. Da, 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 Isn't that da, sad? Da, 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 da. They went. Dee, 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 dee. And this is only in the last two months, I, and nobody has. If there hasn't been a press release done about this. No. It's, it's a tragic loss. To so the, this film, to the Allison, American culture is a newsmaker. It is. I mean, it's, you're the first to reveal to the world that you can't dial anything anymore. At least not in Washington D.C. It just doesn't work. And just as important, the telephone company hasn't informed their subscribers that they've taken away a very important service, which is to use their old dial telephone. Mm -hmm. There's a disaster theme that runs through here. That's Mount Etna. Mount Etna, Etna in, blowing up here on in Sicily. Catania. In Catania. And over here is another volcano blowing up, which is Vesuvius, which we got in, um, in, Naples, in, Naples, in Naples, where Vesuvius is. Yeah, and then here's um, the great same great uncle. This is the ruins of San Francisco after the 1906 earthquake. Well, did this disaster wall come naturally, or how did this come to be? There was no plan. No plan. That Everything this would be is a organic. disaster wall, but evidently we're drawn to disasters. Maybe it's because we're from California, yeah. where they have we earthquakes, have earthquakes. And fire, earthquakes and fires, blah 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 blah. You know, mudslides. We're going to go upstairs as if we're at a Raphael uh, Peel painting. We go up the stairs like we do in the 18th century, up these very steep stairs. Now we're in my study, which is uh, <clears throat> you know where I sit and read and pay bills. 
<laughs> I got interested in arts and crafts furniture in the 70s and so this is a great stickly chair. Speaking of sticks, there's a stick table here. This is like a folk art thing made out of twigs and sticks and stuff. Now we're going downstairs to uh, the ground floor which is where the dining room and the kitchen are. And in the oldest houses in Georgetown, whether they're a small house like this one or some of the grandest houses, um, it's traditional that the dining room is downstairs. We had a new floor put down. Yes. And when the old floorboards were taken up here, they were just sitting on dirt. And what we found were uh, all these artifacts, which were, which were things like little bottles and uh, a, a buckle of some sort Ew. and a very terrifying nail that uh, came out of the floor, uh, out, of, out of the dirt floor <laughs> of this old uh, kitchen, nice a spoon, spoon, somebody's spoon. Everything in this box was buried in the dirt floor of this house and uh, we didn't find any bones. When did you paint this? Uh, last year. What this is is a painting called Adoration of the Chocolate Child. Nine months after I was born, they took a picture of me on a high chair with a great big can of Ghirardelli chocolate. And I'm smiling and then I was gurgling away. And the thing about the Ghirardelli chocolate is that my mother was, my mother was Polly Ghirardelli Lawrence. My mother's father was the president of the company when I was a child. It was sold from the family in 1961 when I was just about to hit puberty, which is a wonderful thing because actually I thought I would grow up to be president of it for a while because it was like I was in line this kind of thing. So, um, I thought I would do this and kind of revisit this funny picture of myself as a kid. And out the window you have, and, and it says Cal here, out you have Berkeley where I wound up going to college. You see um, the rest of the United States looking eastward. And so you have Washington here, New York and Boston. You have um, Yosemite and Lake Tahoe. You have the Berkeley campus with the Campanile here. The idea being that this is what my life would sort of happen with my life later, so I'm going to go like that. It would have nothing to do with the Ghirardelli Chocolate Company. I would go make my own education. I would go to Berkeley. I would study the history of art. I'd wind up getting a job at the Hirshhorn Museum, which is in this city, and I would travel widely. And so there it is. So your TV is covered. Well, that, yeah, because other. <laughs> Otherwise, it's boring. Voila! Ta da! So, anytime you want to watch it, there. It's kind of tasteful, don't you think? It's nice. Yeah, well, anyway. Yeah. anyway. We, like well, we, decorated, we decorated this. That's one thing we decorated with. We with decorated the, towel. the television screen. So, it's been great having you here, Allison. There's a lot to look at, and we have a good time talking about yeah, it. Thank you for coming by. We'll see you real soon. Why? Because we like you. I think this is just great. Thank you so much.